Good morning, Jay Sarah. I'm Kelsey Levisa. And I'm Amber Salas. And, and this, this is The Lion Report. We have a short show for you today, Jay Sarah, so make sure you pay extra attention. To start off today's show, let's go to Hayden with the general announcements. UPS truck. You very UPS y. They get your packages here on time, and I'm going to get the announcements to you on time. This should be fun. <laughs> so there's a Steubenville Youth Conference. It's at USD in. Uh, in San Diego because it's University San Diego. It's going to be a youth conference. If you've got more questions, go ask campus men. Should be real fun. Let's go over here by the line. Why not? NHS apps are due uh, April 15th. If you don't know that, April 15th is tomorrow. So if you haven't done it, you're like me and you procrastinate a lot. we got to go up the stairs. Cross country meeting for parents and athletes to sign up. It's going to be in a couple days. Let me look. Actually, it's not going to be in a couple days. It's tonight. Yeah, today at 6 o'clock p.m. And it's going to be over here in the lion's den. This is lion's den. You go in there, you go all the way back, and there's a bunch of seats and a projector, and you can have meetings and whatever. And uh, that's where the lion's den is for the cross-country meeting for parents and athletes to sign up today. Today at 6 o'clock. Yeah, be there. Be there or be square. Um, we got Spirit Week next week. That should be fun, right? Woo, we finished the week with a rally. First day is uh, UCLA versus USC colors and uh, teams and colleges and whatever. Big rivalry, big rivalry. So um, fitting, while we're still on the athletic side, uh, for Tuesday, Spirit Week next week, jocks versus nerds. Yeah, jocks, not jockstrap, jocks. Like the athletes, the people who actually put work in on the field or in the pool, or on the court, whatever your sport is, versus the nerds, nerds. You know, those kids who have the 4.0. And then on Wednesday, we got mass. Get dressed up for God. Thursday, Thursday, Thursday is girls versus guys, blue versus pink, pink baby, blue baby. Yeah, boys versus girls. So now we're walking over here. Friday, Friday's the big day. We got the rally. Everyone needs to wear the class colors. The seniors are going to wear black. Juniors are going to wear white. Pretty easy, pretty easy. And I'm assuming that you wear these colors, like the shirts, and uh, you can wear jeans with them, because that's j Sarah dress code, y'all. Uh, sophomores, they got to wear red. And uh, freshmen, goal. Um, yeah, so wear your colors. And uh, Friday, rally. Should be a fun week. Woo! Well, thanks, Hayden, for that new rendition of the announcements. So Kelsey, have you seen the new Star Wars trailer? Yes, I've heard a lot of people talking about it and I feel like it literally plays every single day in the line report. That's definitely true. Well, I know Aiden did a trailer re review, so let's go check it out. So, I don't really have anything to talk about today, so why not talk about that new Star Wars trailer that came out? Although it's not technically Star Wars, it's a Star Wars spinoff, so it's technically Star Wars, but it's not really Star Wars. It, look, it has the words Star and Wars in the title, so that should automatically get you excited. So without further ado, let's talk about Star Wars, yeah! Thanks, Dad! So the trailer opens up and we're introduced to a character played by Stephen Hawking's wife named, um, Jing Arso? Well, I guess I shouldn't really complain. Star Wars kind of has the market cornered on stupid names. But with names like Lando Calrissian, Obi-Wan Kenobi, Kylo Ren, Luke. Yeah, they're all pretty stupid. And next we see... Whoa! Is, it, is that CGI? Is, are you sure that's CGI? That looks, that looks way too good to be CGI. The trailer continues and... Five more minutes! I mean, I know it's just a trailer and all, and they tried to add that sound effect for special effect, but really the only problem is that it's super annoying! And here's what I think is the money shot of the trailer. The robot camels are back! Ah, Jim. Robot camels. But it just gets me really excited to see how the scale of this movie is going to be handled. By the way, this is from the same director that did Godzilla, which 
to be honest, I'm not a huge fan of. I thought it was kind of boring and drawn out, but the scenes with Godzilla and the scale of the scenes with Godzilla were amazing. So hopefully this movie is going to be like that. So that about does it for the Rogue One trailer. I'm really intrigued, to be honest. It looks really interesting. So that's all I got. If you hated this review, sorry. If you liked it, I'll make more in the future. Maybe. I don't know. See you guys later. Wow, we cannot wait for that movie to come out. Thanks so much, Aiden. Well, that's all we have for you today, Jay Sarah. I'm Kelsey Levisa. And I'm Amber Salas. And this is The Lion Report. Have a great day, Thursday. Or, great day, Jay Sarah. <laughs>